girls diving sectionals at Neepa Valley. It looks like some are channeling Michael Phelps before jumping off the board, hoping to get their team some points leading into the swimming sectional later in the day. Starting us off in the finals round, Naperville North Becky Jennings performing a reverse one and one half somersault tuck. She would go on to finish in ninth place on the day with 337.95 points. Matia Valley senior diver Emily Steinkoller performs a forward dive one half twist straight and just glides into the water. She would place 12th out of the 16 girls with 282 points. Samantha Carlson for Nequa Valley would approach the board with a two and a half somersault tuck, a 2.4 difficulty rating, and she just floats into the water, receiving cheers and a great score when she breaks the surface. That dive would get her 52.8 points, adding to her final score of 450.15 points. Naperville Central's two top divers would not make a splash, which is a good thing. Caitlin Petro would place third overall, this back one somersault one and a half twist free was awarded 47.15 points, adding to her total of 397.1 points. Her counterpart Megan Campbell would perform a reverse one somersault puck, helping her to a fifth place finish. The top diver on the day though would go to Nequa senior Chloe Pace. This backwards one and one half somersault one half twist free would get her 47.25 points and push her to the top of the leaderboard, finishing in first place with 466.8 points and sending her down to state. Nequa would also get second as well, giving 29 total points to the overall swimming and diving sectional team score. You just have to think that like one dive can't mess your whole performance up and if you come back stronger, like I know personally what I can do on every single dive and I know if I come back and stronger and with what I know how to do, then I'll be fine. So earlier in the meet I had a situation where I balked and I was really upset obviously and a bunch of people were coming over and telling me like um, to shake it off and I just kind of, I put my headphones on and started blasting a song and just got in the zone for the next dive I guess. My DVC meet was not my best meet. It was actually probably one of my worst meets. And so the past two weeks, I've just been focusing on the dives, the harder dives first, and then going back and doing some of the easier ones. It makes me feel good. I'm really happy that I put them ahead. I know they were counting on me, so it's good. It's a good feeling.